everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site again today and really loving working on this new aspect to the whole project. Working outside has been really refreshing and the weather's been really nice. I, I think that making a project on this side is really, it's a lot more uh, rewarding and enjoyable I think in terms of the actual process than working on something of that scale because that's so big, it's just day to day you can almost don't even notice your progress. I've been working on this for maybe, I think maybe today's the third, maybe the fourth day, uh, but I mean, you know, I've only put in a few days here and already the whole deck's starting to come together and uh, a structure like this I think is achievable for a lot of people. It may be something like that is just, it's too expensive or it's too time consuming or it's too tall. <laughs> there are a lot of, uh, you know, superlatives connected with a structure like that. But something like this, I think it's a much more human scale to build on and it's much more manageable, both, both financially and, you know, physically if you're going to be putting it together yourself. Uh, the cost of something like this, uh, the foundation, I believe I paid like maybe $1,500, maybe $2,000 for the foundation, but you could do that a lot. Uh, less expensively if you did cinder blocks and bags of concrete and did it yourself. Uh, in terms of the lumber for this, I think it's about like $3,000, $4,000 for the lumber to put the whole thing together. And if you think about what you're getting out of it is you're getting what could be used as a complete living space. It has uh, what's essentially a, a cold root cellar on the bottom. If you were to insulate underneath this deck, you could put all sorts of food preps and pantry items down the bottom. I'm going to have a little uh, access port right here and there'll be a little step ladder so you can go in and out. So you could store tons and tons of foods down there in 140 square feet of uh, floor space. Up here is going to be kind of a living space where you know you could uh, have you know table, desk, you know couch, whatever you you know want to have in your living space. And up on the top level of this, you know up where there's going to be the, the collar ties that uh, join the the roof joists together. On top of the collar ties, I'm going to be putting a loft up here, and you can easily put like a bed up there so you can sleep on the top, live on the middle, and all your preparedness and storage items can be down below. Something like this is really achievable both financially and physically for a lot of people. So if you were able to get land, you could build something like this, and this didn't even need a building permit for way less money than something like that, and it's something you could use as a vacation destination that you could go to if you love, you know, outdoor sorts of things, uh, or as a place in an emergency where you could go to and have something that would kind of take care of you and your family. What I want to share with you today in terms of actual building is uh, this board right here. You may be able to see it's got quite a bend to it. It's touching on either end and there's a gap here in the middle. So uh, what I do when I get to these kind of guys, I got it nailed in on either side. I've got this little block here that slides in and I've got this thing here, this little cleat temporarily nailed in there. And all I got to do is push it over with this and then nail these two guys in that are pre preset. All right. Once I get it, uh, the gap closed up, let go, and the board stays put. That's it. Thanks for watching.